What's up guys? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Crazy Rich Asians, the newest film by John Chu and starring Constance Wu, Henry Golding, Michelle Yu, and Aquafina. Uh, if you don't know much about the, uh, the movie itself, it's a, based off a very popular book. It's about this girl who has fallen in love with this uh, guy. So it's a, it's a standard story of girl falls in love with guy, she goes meets the parents. Well, she comes to find out that not only is her soon to be or her boyfriend not only is he a good person but he's extremely rich and that's where this movie takes place it goes over to singapore where we find out that not only is he rich but he's super rich and it plays off those stereotypes of you know asian people are very very wealthy they're very very smart but they're very very weird about their family so she goes over there and henry golding's character whose mother is played by Michelle Yeoh, uh, is very, very skeptical about Constance Yu's character. So when they go over there, she's very cold. Michelle Yeoh's character is very cold against Constance Yu's character. And everybody else is like on the mend on whether this is a good idea for, you know, the, the uh, Henry Golding character, Nick. So we start to see, as the story progresses, the lifestyle that these people lead. They're very, very rich. They're very, very elegant. They're very, very out there. They have a lot of money, so they do a lot of expensive stuff. And that's where this movie kind of is kind of interesting because when you see movies like this, it's mostly about, you know, couples that are kind of different races. They get to go there. They go meet the parents. The parents are very offbeat, off kilter of what they believe. They're not very accepting of, the, of whoever the main character is. And it just, it plays off like a, <clears throat> you know, guess who's coming to dinner or meet the parents, that type of situation. So when Constance Wu's character goes to meet the mother and meet the family, she's very off-put by how they act, how they treat her. Um, there's scenes in this movie that are very, very kind of disturbing in a little bit of ways because this girl is very, very sweet. She's very nice. She wants to be accepted to the parents, but they don't want to accept her. I mean, she meets, like, the cousins and the, the, the sisters and the brothers. And most of them are just, like, kind of off-put by her. And so she has to find a way to be accepted. But in the process, you know, they have to accept her. And what this movie shows is very, very interesting. The idea of a rich, rich group of people who almost seem too good for people but are very down to earth in ways they're very fun to be around they're very energetic you know when you meet aquafina's character she's very very out there like she is in you know most of the things she does like in oceans eight but her family you know kim uh, kim john is her father and he's very very weird and out there and even though they're rich they're like they they idolize uh Henry Golding's family, the uh, Youngs, and they're, you, you, know, you find out that the Youngs are the super rich, but it's just, it's a fascinating tale that doesn't always succeed. You know, you get, I wanted to say that the movie is interesting because it has an Asian, all Asian cast for the most part, and they take a, you know, a typical story about a girl and a boy, you know, get them to, you know, to be accepted by the parents, but it takes it with an Asian style, and therefore it makes it unique. But on top of the surface, it feels candy-coated, it feels sugary, it feels fantastical and romanticized. And I think that's the whole point of the book, and the whole point of the story is it's supposed to make you feel kind of like you want to be these people, but you understand there's like a dark level of depthness to them that is kind of uncomfortable to watch. But I, I think overall, like, the movie is good, but because of that sameness story and that very bubblegum, you know, very sweet, you know, candy and cotton candy uh, exterior kind of hinders the movie. And if it weren't for characters like Aquafina's character, who she plays, um, Paik, Lingu, and King John, um, I don't think the movie would have been as successful. But the interesting story behind this movie on top of that is John Chu was offered a lot of money to go to Netflix. But he's like, no, there's not enough representation in the theater for these types of movies. He wanted this movie to be released theatrically. And just seeing it today in the theater, you can see why he wanted that. Because 
the, his culture is not representative well. You know, you see a lot of white people movies. I mean, a lot of these movies that are that deal with the situation, they're very white centric, and it's just. It's nice to see what he was able to bring to the table and that he was willing to sacrifice a lot of money to bring this to the theater. So I, can, I applaud them for that because the movie is still a lot of fun. It's still very funny. Aquafina is a very funny person. She's like that next talent that hopefully doesn't get overused, but she, she has a lot of range to her, but she's also very, very weird and dynamic. I mean, if, you ever, if you've seen Ocean's 8, you know what I'm talking about. So... You know, Michelle Yeoh, who's an amazing actress, you know, if you've seen her Couching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, you know how good she can be. She's actually really, she's probably one of the standout characters in this movie as the mother, and she does a lot of great stuff with her role. You know, in the end, you know how it's going to go, you know the story's going to, how it's going to play out, but you really feel that her idea of what things should be and what Constance Wu's character should be is completely different, and you can see the clashing of the characters. But it's just, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting movie that doesn't work on all cylinders. There are characters in this movie that are very creepy, very uncomfortable to watch. And maybe that's the whole, you know, joy of it is that these characters are weird, creepy. I don't know the culture very well, so I'm not going to, you know, spout off stuff I don't know. But I sometimes feel like they're, they're going too excessive, too much. I mean, the rich nature is just opulence and gold and as much money as they can spend and... You know, as somebody who doesn't have a lot of money, it just it feels weird in some situations. But as a movie, I can definitely recommend you'll have a good time because I did. But just remember that it underneath the exterior, it's kind of candy coated. So thank you for so much for checking out our review for Crazy Rich Asians. And if you guys like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out YouTube, Audio Boom, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, also email us at nlapolo1138 at gmail.com. But like I said, you know, if you guys have any interest in the movie, I definitely recommend it because it's still a fun movie to watch and it still has heart and humor. So, but with that, we'll go ahead and see you guys later. Peace.